Agriculture is New York's largest industry, but these are tough times down on the farm. Farms are facing high inflationary costs. Inputs are up across the board for energy, transportation, labor, fertilizer, and supplies. And farmers say New York State is not making it easier. We can't keep making it more expensive to do business in this state. Labor costs are of particular concern. New York's farm workers are already among the highest paid in the nation. They earn the state's minimum wage, which will be rising again this year. The difference up till now is they were not eligible for overtime until after 60 hours a week. But a decision by a wage board will see that threshold drop to 40 hours a week over the next decade, which a banking study showed could increase labor costs by 42 percent while reducing farm income by 20 percent. This may lead farmers to either reduce the number of hours afforded to workers who may then leave for other states where they can earn more money. They could switch to less labor intensive crops, meaning fewer jobs overall, or just go out of business entirely. To blunt that, the state would reimburse farmers for certain overtime costs, which means the taxpayers will foot the bill eventually to the tune of $153 million a year, according to the state budget office. Unlike some industries, farms can't necessarily pass increased costs to consumers. Dairy farms, for example, have no ability to set their own milk prices, which means they can't recoup higher production costs. Now is not the time to make these things worse. Meanwhile, farmers are also concerned with the state's massive investment into the spirit, cidery, and brewing industries because they are still not allowed to directly ship their products to out-of-state consumers. They'd like that to change. We view this as totally parity with, with our, our brethren and sisters in the wine industry, and we're hoping to extend those privileges to all farm beverages uh, in this, this year's budget. Another concern they have is the state's push for electric zero emission agricultural vehicles when such equipment currently doesn't exist. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.